Hello everybody, I'm GameStop522 and welcome back to, well, my next Mega Man game. So, as you can see, I'm on my PlayStation 3 and I have a PlayStation 1 disc in here. So, let's go ahead and get started. Not much else to be said. Been looking forward to this one for a long time. In a world covered by endless water, people are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this Mother Lode, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? So there you have it. We're going to be playing Mega Man Legends. Hope you guys are excited for this one, because I am. Now, before I start playing, there are some rules I'm going to lay down. Well, first off, hold on. Good luck. I think I just need to do this real quick. Load up the memory card. Then I just need to back out. No, I guess not. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, um, there are some rules I'm going to set down. Because I'm, I have a way I want to play through this game that you guys might find really interesting. Then again, I'm pretty sure somebody's already done this before, but who knows. As you see, we are on hard mode. Um, the only difference between normal and hard mode on this game is that on hard mode, enemies have twice the life. That's, that's the only change, really. And also, like, um, one boss's attack patterns in particular get a, little, get a bit of a boost in speed. But that's, that's for a later, that's for a later talk. All these... Crazy surf bots just running around. But anyway, here are some ground rules as to how I'm going to play this game. I'm This is going to be a hard mode, 100% buster parts only run of the game. So let me go ahead and put the rules up. That means I will be only using buster parts. I will not have an energy canteen. I will not use any special weapons except for those that are needed to progress the game and or find items that that go towards the 100%. I will not be buying any armor. I will not be buying a helmet. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Bust parts only no upgrades. That's the best way I can put it. Oh yeah, and I will never upgrade my life as well. So, those rules are set. They're written. I'll probably post them up when I edit, but but of course, Mega Man, take it away. Here we go. Mom. 
Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just barely. The transmission isn't too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Alright guys, so it begins. So I just want to make sure my controls are right. And they're good. Alright, just wanted to make sure. Wait a second. There should be a reaver bot around there somewhere. Can you see it? It looks like a small one. You should be able to take it down with your buster gun. Use the square button to fire. Press the R2 button to lock on to the nearest target. So yes. These are Reaver bots. They're basically just robots that attack us and they're kind of considered the main enemy of the game. Not much to it. Turn right there. Can you see a door nearby? Do you see a door? That should be the way out. It's not far from your current position. Use the circle button to investigate items and open doors. Alright then. Watch out, there's something right in front of you. Alright. Some more Reaver bots in this room. Let's go ahead and take them out. Oh, there it is. Back to shoot bombs at the buttholes or something. Uh, it doesn't really give a tutorial here after, well. Huh? A platform? Try jumping up on it. Grab the ledge if you have to. Use the X button to jump. If you can't make it in one jump, you can sometimes grab onto the edge and pull yourself up. Pretty self-explanatory. Hold it! Don't move! Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver box. We were lucky. Alright then. So we just want to keep going forward. Oh wait, what's this? A little something. Quantum refractors are large crystals that can provide energy to machines. They can also be used as currency. If you're really lucky, you might find an orange energy cube. Grab it to recharge your life gauge. So I might as well explain the life gauge now that we're here. See, the way uh, life energy works in this game is different from other Mega Man games. You see, uh, we do have like some kind of like protective shield over our health. Our actual health is those yellow blocks, but the metal part that's around it is considered our power shield. And it reduces damage by half, but as it as it gets hit, it turns off by turning red. You guys will understand more once you see it. 
But then again, since I'm doing this with no energy canteen, press R2. If we press R2, we can lock on to enemies. But we have, but we can, but we stay in place. So that's kind of a bit of a downside to that. Stay ahead of this guy, practically. Just try to keep your distance from him, and you should be all right. There we go. Victory. Looks like there's some machines here. Might as well blow them up. Yeah, I guess we'll just kick this one. Alrighty. You found 560 Zenny. Zenny is uh, the form of currency in this game. We use it, we're gonna use it to buy Buster Parts, because, well, this is a Buster Parts only run. And speaking of Buster Parts only, we got our first Buster Part, the Power Razor. Attach Buster Parts, allowing you to power up your Buster Gun. You can attach Buster Parts by pressing the Start button and going to the menu screen, selecting Equip from the Buster Parts menu. So, we're gonna go ahead and put that on. See, we can have only two Buster Parts right now, but the Power Razor is the only one we got, so might as well have it on. It increases the strength of our shots by a little bit. Not too bad. Alright, and here's the exit. Mega Man, I'm showing a large blip in front of you. It's probably a Reaver bot. Be careful. Huh? Mega Man, can you hear me? I'm losing you. The transmission's breaking. Whoa? Are you alright? Can you hear me? Alright then, everyone. Time to fight our first boss. As you can see, he has a life bar on the top right. This guy's really easy. All you pretty much just gotta do is just circle around him and shoot. Depending on your controls, you might have to press either left or right, or R1 and L1 to strafe left and right like this. But it's not really strafing as much as it is just running to the side. But this guy's really easy. This is pretty much a tutorial stage for a reason. They kinda give you a glimpse of how this game's gonna work. And he's dead. Very easy fight. Look at that sky. Well, that's a happy sight after being underground for so long. Hmm. I wonder where Roar went. Back for more?
Phew. Nice timing, Roll. Anytime, Mega Man. I'm sorry, Mega Man. I had some engine problems, and... It's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. All's well that ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry. We'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks. I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five feeders are going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadlock's about a hundred miles southwest. Good! Check! Ah, Jesus Christ. Well, there goes our ship. This looks pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. We'll just have to fix her up. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. This island, what do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle Lock? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Think you could go take a look around? Sure, why not? Uh, but first off, I want to go ahead and introduce the characters here. Here's Beryl. This is basically our grandpa. And then, also we have the lovely roll. Mega Man's sister, pretty much. And then here we have Data. We've been friends for years, right? Come talk to me if you want to save, okay? So Data is the person we want to go to to refill our health, as well as save the game. But we, I guess we might as well recharge, even though we don't need it. All right, I guess we'll go out to town. All right. What's going on? Ah, Mega Man. The police saw us crash land and came to check up on us. Well, you certainly put on quite a show. But it looks like everyone's all right. Let me welcome you to Catalog's Island. Now, I'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station. We need you to fill out some immigration forms so you can get your registration and ID card. You can't enter the city without one. Don't worry. It won't take very long. While you're waiting, you can spend your time in the shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor? Well, I'm, 
I guess that's that. Alright. So. I guess we just move forward. Not much to say. Well, I guess I might as well talk about this game a bit. Um, I remember when I first played this game, but not on the PlayStation, but the Nintendo 64. I always, I always liked it. It was different because it was like a full 3D Mega Man game. What do you gotta say? I want to go down inside the ruins, but to look for some parts and other stuff. But I'm afraid of Reaver bots and whatever else might be down there. But if I don't find something to sell at my shop, I'll be in trouble. Alright. Hey, what's this? Is this your ship? It's a, It shouldn't be here. This is a no parking zone. No fly zone. I don't know. I guess, yeah, I guess you can park a ship, a flying ship, probably. Well, mainly you dock a ship, you don't really, uh, park it. Anyway, um, so this little, this little place has, this little, uh, market area has a few gimmicks we need to learn about. First off, see this can right here? You can kick it. That's right, you can kick the freaking can. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kick it. If I can freaking get it. Okay, apparently I can't. This part was always tricky. Okay, no, that was too high. If you you can kick with both the square and triangle button, but the uh, the square one goes a little bit further, but not like. Okay, I think I could probably make it now. Basically, when I should kick the can inside of this. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. No! <laughs> Don't freaking go back out. There we go. Nice shot. 1,000 zenny. Keep our streets clean. Put trash in its proper place. Anyway. We gonna want to go ahead and check some things here. There are trash cans in this game, and if you kick a trash can and the lid doesn't pop off, then there's something in it. So we've got something inside of this one. Refractor shard inside. You found 50 zenny. Whenever it says that, you pretty much always get money. And there's also a little box right here. If we check it, we get a broken cleaner. Okay, um... We got another box right here. Refractor shard. We got 100 zenny. Okay. Something inside of here. We got 20 zenny. And what about this box right here? It's empty. Alright. So then. Also, another mechanic I want to mention, we can move left and right, we can turn left and right, but we can also side roll. In order to do that, if you press right on the D-pad and the jump button at the same time, you'll do a bit of a, of a side roll. You're completely invincible while you're doing this. It's a very handy maneuver, so we might want to remember that. Well, this is a parts center. If we get parts for our ship, I guess we should go here, right? Parts for your ship. I'm sorry, but my husband's out on a dig right now. You know what a dig is, right? It's where you go underground. Looking for old machine parts. Wonder what's taking him so long. Hey, little blue boy. Would you be willing to go find him for me? Sure, I guess. You will? Oh, thank you so much. You'll probably find him somewhere near the entrance. He's really just a big coward, so you see, so I don't think he's gone too far in. <clears throat> Ugh, great thing to know about your husband. Excuse me. Oh, I can't jump over him. Oh well. Now yeah, here's Data again. So let's go ahead and go in here. I think he was the person who went in here. Alright. Help, somebody. Okay, I guess that's him. Oh boy. There's some reaver bots perched on that little alcove up there. <laughs> Look at that little dummy. He just fell right off. 
Look at these little goofballs. Okay, screw you guys. Oh crap, two more. Alrighty then. Now, whenever we're underground or in ruins, there are always holes in walls. Whenever we check the hole in the wall, we get stuff. You see here, we got a whopping 2600 zenny. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and look for this guy. Oh crap, there's more. Okay. Help me! I got these worm weaver bots here. They only take pretty much just like two shots to kill if you have a power laser equipped it. Alright. This must be him. Thank you. You say I mean thanks, you saved my life. Woo! Thank you, uh, Mr. Blue Boy. Come and buy my junk shop. I'll give you something as a token of my appreciation. Well, I've heard enough of this place. Or I've had enough of this place. Man, I can read. I'm going home. Don't worry about me. If nothing else, I'm a fast runner. I'll make it out okay. See you later. Okay, then. That totally happened. Alright. Let's go ahead and explore this area over here first. Bunch of, like, kamikaze reaver bots right here. Also a reaver bot in this hallway. Ow. Piece of crap. Okay. Now, there are two reaver bots in here. Now, I like to camp and kill the standing one, because... Oh, crap. You see, the way this works is that, um... Like, that type of reaver bot, it's connected... It's basically their two halves. You see, there's basically that walking version and the stationary version of it right here. Now, the one standing still is what's actually controlling the one that walks around. If you go ahead and take out the controller, then the then the reaver bot that moves around just flat out won't move, period. But it also reduces the amount of zinny that you get from him. Now, he's just right here bouncing off the wall like an idiot, so I might as well take advantage of that, because why not? Yeah, that's probably, this is probably the only issue with hard mode in the beginning, with how long it takes to kill things. And in here we got a rapid fire. It's another buster part, in other words. And we're going to equip it. Increases our rapid by one, so that's pretty nice. We fire our shots a little bit faster now. Just run past all these guys. We can go ahead and get out of here. There's not much else we can do in this place right now, anyway. I am aware that there was a door earlier that was right in front of me once I came into these ruins, but we can't do anything that way yet. So, we'll just head back up. Go back to the junk parts shop so we can go talk to the guy we just saved. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know what I would have happened if you hadn't gone looking for him. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for helping me out back there. Here, take this as a reward. You got mine parts, kid. Did you see that that old beat-up car outside the city walls? That's the car we used as our support car when we were younger. Anyway, you can have it if you want. It doesn't run anymore, but you should be able to use it to exchange buster parts and stuff. If you're looking for parts for your ship, right? Sorry, I don't have anything like that here. But I've got weapons and upgrades and other stuff I can sell you. Come back again sometime and I'll take a look. Um, what did you say your name was? 
Mega Man, that's a nice name. Okay, Mega Man, see you again. Later. Alright, let's go see about that car then. Oh. I was looking at my computer for a second. I didn't see where I was going. Okay then. Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? Nah, we're not gonna use it anyway. I get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Alright then. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Now you'll be able to use the city gates. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, but... Why's that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. Alright then. So we've run out of time for this video. Pirates, eh? Well, they shouldn't give you any trouble. But be careful anyway, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and save our game. Alrighty. So, that ends this video of Mega Man Legends. I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of this, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.